Hello there, it's Izzy again, and guess what day it is? It's Freaky Friday. No, it isn't. It's Frequently Asked Question Friday. Yes, and we're going to do it on the Canon EOS ATD. Now, I scoured the internet. I went on Amazon, on eBay, on Digital Gojo's customer service questions. I found the most asked questions about the Canon EOS ATD. Now, this video is going to be in two parts. First part will be for beginner questions, and the second portion will be for advanced users. As always, if this video does help you out, don't forget to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to the channel for future frequently asked questions, tutorials, and unboxings. And as always, if you're ever in the Miami area, come say hello to Adam and I at Digital Goja Showroom. Let's get started with the most asked question for beginners on the EOS ATD. Does the EOS ATD have a built-in flash? Absolutely. Now, if you have it on the full auto mode or any of the more popular scene modes, it will make the decision of popping up the flash if it needs it, depending on your lighting situation. But if you do want to override it, you can set it to the simple setting of program and press the button on the side and you now have full access to your built-in flash. And I use previous version batteries on my new EOS ATD. Yes, as long as they are the LPE6 variant. This has been around for a while. This one happens to be the newer version, the LPE6N. As long as you are working with the original battery, because I've yet to see a aftermarket one that works with it, you should not have any problem working with the LP6 variants on the EOS ATD. Okay, to transfer files from my Canon ATD to my smartphone takes a couple of steps. First, you're going to have to go into your menu and set up your wireless communication settings. So you have to enable Wi-Fi and NFC. And then we go to the Wi-Fi function and you want to connect to a smartphone. So you connect and then you connect to the device. Now to do that, you now also have to have a smartphone with the application inserted in here. So here I have the Canon Camera Connect application. You need to download that whether you're using Android or iOS devices. Of course, you always have to turn on your Wi-Fi to be able to connect to the camera and then once you have in the control panel you have the connection set up for the Canon EOS ATD as you can see I already have it set up I'm now going to go and open up my Canon camera connect and make sure that the camera is connected and there it is, it's now connected to the ADD and then I can take a look at the images on there and I can choose which images I want to transfer. And you can delete them also if you choose to right from the application. So this gives you a lot of capabilities to be able to do whatever you want with your images wirelessly. Does the EOS ADD record in 4K video? No, it does not. And I'll show you. You can record in full 1080. Go into the menu and go into the fourth folder. And here you have your movie record quality. So you can do MP4 or MOV files at full 1080p. Is the ADD manufactured in China or in Japan? Well, that's all subject to change from the manufacturer, but this one right here does say made in Japan. So this is a Japanese produced product. But again, that is subject to change because manufacturers change their manufacturing plant depending on the amount of product that they need to put out and the demand. <laughs> Is EOS ATD weatherproof? No, it is not. According to Canon, they don't talk about weather sealing or weatherproofing. 
Now, I have some consumers that have used it and they've gotten caught in a little bit of a rainstorm and they haven't been running for cover because believe it or not, it is a very well manufactured camera. It's very well built, feels solid in the hand, but it is not officially weatherproof. Can I shoot handheld night scenes? Absolutely, but you have to get out of the intelligent auto. You have to set it to scene mode and then we're going to hit the Q button and lo and behold, there it is. Notice how you do have handheld night scenes. So that means that you can now do night shots without a tripod. Can I look through the viewfinder while recording video? No, you cannot. This is a traditional DSLR. I'm gonna show you. Because of the fact that it's a DSLR, it has a reflex mirror. So now notice when I switch it over to video mode, notice how now that's your sensor. The reflex mirror has moved out of the way so that you can now record using your LCD. What kind of memory does it come with? Well, it does not have internal memory built in. Maybe if you buy it in a kit, you might have a memory card included. But remember, it works with everything from the lowly SDHC, which has been around for many years. This is a 32 gigabyte version. You can jump into the higher speed card, which are XC capable, faster read write speed for RAW and video. And then you can get even into larger gigabytes, 128 and 256 gigabyte as the XC cards. And they're going to continue on into the terabytes and your EOS ADD will be able to work with all of them. Can I control my Canon EOS ATD through Wi-Fi while shooting movie? Absolutely, and it gives you some incredible features. You can even tap focus, you can do changes, you can do everything. Of course, the first thing you have to do is set up the camera to enable it to work with your smartphone, and then we're gonna take a look and see how simple this is. It actually is quite fantastic. Now, let's see how easy this is to set up so you can control your camera while shooting videos. Now, of course, you have to activate your wireless communication settings, just like we've spoken previously, and you have to have that enabled, and you have to have the dedicated app set onto your smartphone. I'm gonna make sure that I have the app activated on here, and I wanna make sure that I have it set to remote live view. And notice how it tells you that movies can be recorded in MOV format, but cannot be transferred or saved through the application. I'm going to say not to display that again. And now look at this. I now have access to the camera so that I can control my focusing points if I choose to. I can set my parameters as far as if I want to record an MOV or MP4. And I can go ahead and actually, there's a little bit of latency, but this is incredible technology that we can sit here and set up our recording. Look, I could even switch it to face detection or AF zone. I mean, I can do even controls for my audio if I have a microphone connected. So I can go ahead and start recording and also stop recording right from the application. Does the Canon ADD have in-body image stabilization? No, no, Canon does not put that into their DSLRs, but you do have fantastic image stabilization in some of the newer lenses. This one happens to be the new EFS 18 to 135 Nano USM with remarkable image stabilization up to five stops. And there's plenty other lenses available. But remember, your lenses will have the image stabilization, not the body. For how long can I shoot video non-stop on my EOS Canon ATD? Well, just like most of the DSLRs that are out there on the market, I'm going to show you that you have 29.59 minutes of continuous shooting on full HD. Doesn't have clean HDMI out, so this is the maximum that you can do on there. How many photos can I take with a fully charged battery before it's exhausted? Well, with a fully brand new charged battery, Canon states that you can do 1,390 shots while using your viewfinder 
or about 340 shots using your live view on the LCD. But if you need more, guess what? You can get the battery grip for it. Now that brings it up to 2,780 shots using the viewfinder or about 680 shots in live view. Does my Canon ATD come with a USB cable? No, it does not. You can buy an external cable for transferring your images and videos, such as the IFC 400 PCU. But remember, you do have the Wi-Fi capability to do that, and you can also get a really good external SD card reader as an option. Can I charge through USB with my Canon ATD? No, you may not. This is just to transfer information like data and so forth onto your computer, but it does not allow you to charge through there. Let's get started with the most asked question for advanced users on the EOS ATD. Can I record to an external drive with my Canon EOS ATD? No, I'm afraid not. It does not have clean HDMI out. You are limited to recording onto your SD card, which is 29 minutes and 59 seconds. Does the ADD have a microphone input and a headphone jack? Yes, it does have both. This has become a favorite for the videographers out there. And there's your mic input and your headphone jack so you can monitor your audio. Good going, Canon. Can I shoot time-lapse video on my EOS 88D? Absolutely, but you have to make sure you have your camera set to video mode. So notice how I set the video mode. We're going to access our menu by turning on the camera first, of course. Access our menu. And then you want to scroll down. You're in the camera mode. You want to go to the fifth folder. Scroll down to time-lapse movie. Enable that. And now you have the capability of setting everything, whether you want the number of shots, the interval, time required, all that information. Can I shoot slow motion video on my EOS ATD? Absolutely. And again, we have to make sure we're in video mode. And then we're going to go to our menu. And we're going to first change our record quality. You want to make sure you're shooting at MP4, which is your standard IPB setting. That's the one that's now going to allow you to change your recording speed at full HD at 59.94 frames per second, which is 60 frames per second. Can I use a UHS-2 SD card on my Canon EOS ATD? No, this has one card slot, and it is a UHS-1, so you will not benefit from getting a UHS-2 card. So honestly, I would suggest just using a UHS-1 card with your ATD. Don't spend the extra money. You won't receive any benefits from that. Can I shoot astrophotography with my Canon EOS ATD? Absolutely. But remember, this is an ISO invariant camera. So what does that mean? That means that anywhere between 200 and 6400 ISO, you're not going to see a significant change in your noise ratio. So, of course, it wouldn't make any sense trying to do astrophotography at a 200 ISO. So work with the higher ISOs like 1600 or 3200 ISO or even 6400 ISO and take a longer exposure working with a nice sturdy tripod. And of course, you have to look at lenses. Now, of course, everybody wants to jump on board with maybe the ultra-wide 8-15, to but this is an f4 lens. You might want to work better with a faster lens, like for example, their 16-35 to 2.8, or maybe even a fixed lens like their 24mm f1.4. This will give you better imaging when it comes to astrophotography due to the fact that you're working with a faster aperture lens. Is it worth getting the 18-135 to 135 nano USM lens for the ATD? 
Absolutely, that's the reason why Canon packaged it with it. This is their newest technology in an EFS lens. It has faster focusing system and much more silent. So that means that it's fantastic for the videographer in the crowd. Plus on top of that, you have the capability of getting an accessory called a PZ-1. With this adapter connected to this lens, it actually allows you to work with the lens as if you were working with a follow focus and an auto zoom system, especially even with the application from the Canon Camera Connect app. Is the EOS ATD made out of magnesium alloy? No, this is a polycarbonate body. That way, I guess they can maintain the price down. It's not as expensive as a magnesium alloy body. And also, it allows you to have the Wi-Fi capability with NFC. But notice how they did not lack in the construction. This is a very well-constructed body. This fits great in the hand. It has a nice grip, and it feels nice and solid to the touch. I would not have any issues working with this due to the fact that it is still a polycarbonate body. Does the ATD have dual pixel RAW? No, it does not. It has dual pixel AF. Only the EOS 1DX Mark II and the 5D Mark IV have the dual pixel RAW capability right now. Well, I hope this FAQ on the EOS ATD helped you out. If it did, don't forget to hit us up with a like button. And if you have any comments, place them in the comments section below. And don't forget to share it with fellow photographers and videographers. Happy shooting.